Okay, so I have my paper and I'm going to repeat that same process that I just did for all of you on my white piece of paper. So make sure that your ruler is lined up with the edge of your paper. You're going to start either at the top or the bottom, it doesn't matter. And everywhere where there's an inch, I'm going to put a little dot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I'm going to slide my paper and my ruler down. Make sure that I am lined up with the edge of my paper and that my paper and my ruler are not moving. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I'm going to turn my paper this way so I could see my dots. I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to connect my dots so that I can draw my lines. Okay, next I'm going to do this up here and below down here. All right, <clears throat> so I'm going to do my dots, make sure I'm lined up with the corner of my paper. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to slide my ruler down because I want my dots to be in the same spot. Make sure that my ruler and paper are lined up and not moving. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I'm going to turn my paper back. And now I'm going to line up my dots. To finish up my grid. And same thing, I'm going to number my boxes the same way I did on my portrait. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so now I have my grid on my picture. I have my grid on my paper. I need to take a look at my portrait and figure out how I'm going to transfer this onto here. So right now I'm not focusing on shading. What I'm actually going to be focusing on is kind of an outline. Okay, so I'm actually 
going to do this part in pen also, but you really should be doing this in pencil, okay? We don't want to uh, be drawn all over our picture. So I'm going to look at shapes and lines. So there's like a dark shape here where his eyes and uh, eyebrow is. So I'm going to just draw that in. There's kind of a shadow here and a line where his nose is. Again, I'm just mapping out where things are on my person's face. So that's why I'm drawing with lines over the face. His eyes. Okay. I could even draw in where his hairline is and where his hair kind of stops. Again, we'll eventually be shading this. We're not shading it right now. We're just kind of creating a basic outline of our person. Think of this as a contour line drawing right now. So just an outline, that's all. It's a little hard for me to see over here. Okay, almost done. So now that I have these lines mapped out, okay, we're actually going to transfer them over onto here. And how do we do that? So again, I'm doing this in Sharpie. You're going to be doing this in pencil because you don't want to make an oops. Okay, but basically I'm going to look at one box at a time. Maybe I'll start by looking at, oops. Maybe I'll start by looking at where the shoulder starts. That seems easy. Okay, so I see box seven here, and I'm going to look at box seven here. I'm going to say this is seven and three, right? Seven across and three up. So seven and three, and I'm going to draw exactly what I see in seven and three, which is just this little piece. That's it. Then I'm going to look and say, okay, oops, I'm going to say seven and then four, which is right above it. I see this little piece and I'm going to draw that line. Then I'm going to look and say, okay, this one is six and four. It's going to continue over here. Here's six. Okay, if it helps, you can also number over here. Maybe I'll do that. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so I said six and four. And if I look at six and four on here, I'm going to be drawing this here. So there's like a little v-shape kind of like that and then I have this line going 
going across like this. If this is getting a little bit too complicated and you're not sure because you're, you're not sure what you're looking at, you can fold your paper on your line so that you're only focusing on what you're trying to draw at that moment and you can unfold it again if you need to. Right? Like, I want to start here in this little area. So if I'm just focusing on this, I don't need to see the rest of the picture. This is, this is the box I just drew. This little shape and that line. There's also this other little line that I have here going into the box next to it. So maybe I'll do that one as well. Okay. I'm going to look and I'm going to keep going and building my drawing. So I see this box here, three, right? And this is five. And this is the shape that I'm going to be drawing next. So I'm going to look and I'm going to say, okay, this kind of curves and goes down like that. And then there's like a weird little shape like this that comes up right here like that. Okay. So then I can look and say this shape continues in the box below it, which is five and two. And then there's a little piece of something right here. And then keep going below. And basically you're just plotting out everything that you just outlined on here until you do the whole picture. It's going to take some time. It's going to take some practice. It's going to take some patience. Everyone's is going to be a little bit different, but by the time you're done, you're going to end up with an outline of your person's face and be ready for the next step. So here's an example of one that I already did. This is in pencil. I'm not sure if this is too light to see, but basically you're going to end up with just an outline. There's no coloring in at this point, just an outline, okay? Once you're done with your outline, we're going to talk about the next step.